Oh man, my voice, not okay. I really need to get used to talking to my phone because I'm not used to this yet. Hopefully I'll get used to it. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about why I'm doing this channel, what this channel's about, and what I hope to get out of it and share with you guys. So my name is Francesca Babella, I am 20 years old and a first year music student at the University of Birmingham. You're probably wondering why I'm a first year and I'm 20, I took a gap year. I spent the first half of my gap year letting my voice mature, doing lots of choir things and doing more music grades. In the second half of my gap year I went to Italy to be an au pair and learn Italian. You can check out my Instagram for the pictures of throughout my gap year, they're all there. I'm vegan. I've been vegan since October 2018. I'd quite like to incorporate that into my videos. We'll see. I want to show that it's also easy to be vegan at university, that it's good all round. Good. Goodness. Hey, Spreading love, happiness. Woo. So I had the idea to do a YouTube channel a couple of years ago. Only now have I built up the courage to post. In short, the more I hear of the decline in music education, the more I want to fight for it. Music is amazing, important, valuable, and should be accessible to everyone. So there's lots of reasons why I've started this channel. I will try and keep this short because I can go on about this forever. Let's go. So when I was choosing between university or conservatoire, I didn't actually know what the real difference was. I didn't actually know what you did at university. I knew it was more academic based, I didn't quite know how and when I would ask people how does university work, what do you do, what are you writing your essay about, how does that work, no one could answer my questions, literally no one. I went into university blind. So I've made a conscious effort last term to be able to answer those questions that I asked and I can answer those questions. I am hoping to share those answers with you all if you guys want to know the answers. So hopefully part of my channel will be about studying at university and how a university works, specifically how a music degree works, because I want to show that music degrees are good. It's not just about performance, it's about history, it's about analysis, geography, religion, all sorts. And I absolutely love my course, so hopefully I can spread some of that enjoyment with you all. So you're probably thinking, well, I bet you went to a fancy private school, I had all my music tuition paid for and blah 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 blah. No. Admittedly, both of my parents did music degrees. My mum is a pianist and sings a bit, and my dad is a singer, he's a baritone, and he plays the French horn. He's now a photographer. Zigzag photography, shout out. Ooh. But they never forced me to do music. It was never something that I felt like I had to go do a music degree. I could explore activities that I wanted to explore. I wanted to be a sprinter. There are videos of me on YouTube, you can check them out here if you really want to. But I think all the way through, music was something very consistent for me. And at the end of the day, I had to make sacrifices and music was always the thing that I would sacrifice for. Make sense? I would always sacrifice for music. Yeah, I would always sacrifice things to be able to do music. So, yeah, I hope that makes sense. So the reason I'm able to do music is because of my music service where I live, not because of my school. My school, I don't personally feel supported me with music. Exhibit A, this is our recording studio. Enough said. I will say one thing. I went to Ghana as part of a trip that my school does and we saw how much they rely on music and look towards music as a port of hope, enjoyment, religion. They would do performances for us, showing us what they can do. They'd have like a choir and they'd be dancing and singing and be amazing. And then we'd have to show them what we could do. It was embarrassing, an embarrassment, I tell you. We tried to sing them a song and it was just really bad. And I was just like, this is so embarrassing. All the resources that we have at school, we should be able to pull a bog standard choir together. That's just something that was hit hard. So why I do music? My music service provided a year's worth of free lessons to my primary school when I was in year three and I learned the violin and then I was able to join ensembles so I joined choirs and little string groups. The best years of my life. 
seriously, it was just the best. And then you worked up the orchestras and the string groups, and then when you got to the top orchestra, you got to go on tour. So I went to Slovenia, Barcelona, and Italy. You can see photos all on my Instagram. We also won the Music for Youth proms, so we got to perform the Firebird Suite at the Royal Albert Hall, which was amazing. Insert balloon clip. A truly memorable experience and something that I would not have had if it wasn't for my music service. If it wasn't for them, I probably wouldn't be going to do a music degree. However, over the past decade, tuition has been in a rapid decline. Funding has just been troublesome. Nowhere near as many children have been learning instruments. When it comes to a point where there's a child that wants to learn an instrument and the opportunity is not there, that's not fair. That child should be able to learn an instrument if it wants to learn an instrument. It could be the next Mozart, you know? So if you don't have any children learning instruments or singing in choirs, then it's going to create a ripple effect. So there's not enough children in the younger groups, so the younger groups get scrapped. But then there's less people coming up to the higher orchestras. So choral singing. Choral singing is my favourite thing in the whole world. It's what I want to do and I think that more people should do it. And I want to show through my channel that music education is important, singing is just awesome. It's just a great thing to be doing. Like it releases endorphins, it makes you feel good, you learn so much, you learn compassion, you learn languages, you learn discipline. Basically Eric Whitaker has done a video about choral singing and why we sing and why it should be such an important part of our lives. And it's basically everything that I want my channel to be about and everything that I'm trying to say now but rambling on. I will put a link somewhere, maybe down below, don't know. Um, but please, please go watch it because it's it, it makes me like emotional every time I watch it because it's literally why I sing. Imagine singing in an ensemble and like the chord is perfectly in tune and there's just this buzz from like the harmonics and it just ripples through you. Oh my gosh. There's literally no feeling like it and I wish everyone could feel that. Music is the best workout for the brain. It's the only thing that uses every single part of your brain. It's just amazing. Like it's seriously just good. It's just good stuff. Basically, that's what I want my channel to be about. I want to inspire people to learn instruments, to explore more about learning music, whether that be an instrument, singing, the history of music, anything, literally anything. And I hope that you continue to come with me on this journey as I do my degree and watch my channel and share some love and just sing our hearts out, all that nice stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, click the like button, and I will see you next week with another video. Hey. Uh. <laughs>